Good morning. Happy 100th day of devotions together. I had big ideas. I thought I should get like 100 balloons in the room here or or have uh, helium, those helium numbers, you know, inflated behind me, 100, something like that. Uh, something to get me more views than Pastor Arago. But I got the red shirt. I'm told I get, we get more views when we wear red shirts. I think he's going to be wearing one too. We're pushing for today. But then I thought, really, of course, the most important thing about being in devotions in God's Word together is God's Word. And that's been uh, sustaining us for three months, for a long time. Karen, would you touch the button on that fan? Turn that off. Thanks. Forgot about that. Uh, and I hope nobody calls me because I didn't hit Do Not Disturb on my phone either. <laughs> Too late. Um, what a wonderful day and what a wonderful conclusion. We're wrapping up the Gospel of Luke. And we're in the very last part of the Gospel of Luke. And you'll see how, when we think about it, it fits everything together. This song also fits. Uh, when you listen to the text, you'll see it is not in the LSB hymnal. It's in the kind of this extended version, the, the guitar edition that I've got, um, and in the organist one, but not in the, not in the pew book. But it's in the old TLH, number two, and I remember it from when I was a kid. Uh, so many times singing those first 10 hymns in the hymnal for the opening of service. We often, I think our pastor was lazy and just picked beginning of service hymns <laughs> for, number, for the first hymn. And, uh, uh, and I liked it. There were certain verses in here that really spoke to me, especially the seventh verse. We'll sing the first three verses and the seventh verse. Uh, in the seventh verse, from, from your house when I return, when I go home after worship, Lord, may my heart within me burn like those, like those disciples at Emmaus. And at evening, let me say, I have walked with God today. I, I hope that you can say that. That at, after our devotion, or at the end of the day, that you can say, I've walked with God today. We'll sing. <clears throat> Your temple, Lord, I come, for it is my worship home. This earth has no better place. Here I see my Savior's face. I through him am reconciled. I through him become your child. Abba, Father, give me grace In your courts your love to trace While your glorious praise is sung Touch my lips, unloose my tongue That my joyful soul may bless Christ the Lord, my righteousness From your house when I return, may my heart within me burn, and at evening let me say, I have walked with God today. Amen. So, the last four verses of Luke. Uh, Jesus appeared to his disciples. He showed them his hands and feet. He, he uh, opened their minds to understand the scriptures. He said they, they were going to be sent out into the world, but they should wait for the coming of the Holy Spirit. And then it says, Then Jesus led them out as far as Bethany. And lifting up his hands, he blessed them. And while he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy and were continually in the temple, blessing God. You know, they had 
they dreaded this moment. There were so many times in the gospel where Jesus told them he was going to leave them, and they were dismayed and upset. And well, now it comes that Jesus leaves them, and they're rejoicing. And they go constantly to the temple. They, they're meeting often in the temple, in those courtyards where around the perimeter where Jesus taught. And now they're meeting there and remembering together and teaching others. You know, last night late, I uh, went into YouTube and, and looked up all the old devotions. I started with the first one and I looked around for the oldest ones. That, that first one was handheld, camera kind of shaky. And, and, um, and it was funny to, to listen to what we talked about. The, uh, the lockdown thing had just begun and kids are being kept home from school and everybody's making plans and how's this going to work and <clears throat> people are discovering they don't have enough bandwidth and other people are saying, I need a new computer. And, um, but every, everybody was, I mean, it was kind of exciting, it, you know, in a way, wasn't it? Um, we're going to do this. And this is a challenge. And it was going to be three weeks, three weeks to flatten the curve. You remember that? That became, that became three months. That was the middle of March, March 16th was our first one in April, in May, in June. And we talked about being alone in that first one and in different ones since then. And that, that very first devotion, we talked about Jesus, who had been out in the wilderness alone. And going to his hometown and sharing the gospel with them and being rejected and being alone. And we talked about how God's people are, they sometimes go through periods of isolation, a sabbatical in a way, a, a getting away from others and being with the Lord. Uh, how, uh, how Moses was in the wilderness after, after he was chased out of Egypt and before he was called to, to lead God's people. Then he had a time alone with the Lord. And how Elijah was alone in the wilderness being fed by the ravens and and uh, Elisha with the widow caring for him. Um, how uh, David was hiding in a cave for a time. It, it, that God's people have periods of periods of coming away separate from the world. And we were beginning that. And we said it's not just a period of discipline. It's not just a period of hardship. It's a time to be in God's word and to grow, to listen. I wonder, I hope that this time so far has been that for you. Now things are, you know, ramping back up. Yeah, people are getting more busy again and these devotions are maybe harder to get to every day. People are vacationing. People are traveling now. But I wonder if, like the disciples, you would be continually in the temple blessing God. Continuing to come back to God's word and to find there the things that you found in a time of isolation. Now you're not all by yourself. Like the disciples, they would have this Time and then the Holy Spirit would come and then the church would be growing and there'd be they'd be so busy they'd have to arrange for Sunday school teachers and there they have to be a vacation Bible school and and who's going to pay the bills and and what kind of carpet do we need to put in the new sanctuary there would be all kinds of things that the disciples would have to worry about maybe not those but lots the most important thing always the most important thing would be to come back to God's word to continue to be in God's presence. To, as they would be doing here, remembering the things that Jesus said. Do you remember the time that he did this? And you remember what you said when that happened? 
reliving God's blessing for them. We'll look back on this year, 2020, and everybody will roll their eyes. Yeah, 2020. We remember that year. But I hope that you will look back on this year and on these 100 days and, and the next 100 because we're going to continue in God's Word. I hope you'll look back on these days and say, I have walked with God today. Amen. We also hope that if God has blessed you by his word, you take the chance to share it with others. You know, on, on Facebook, this won't apply necessarily to the YouTube, although YouTube people can, can copy the link and email it to somebody and share it with them, share it other ways. But to invite someone else, this is a, this is a way of growing in God's word that's been a blessing to me, and maybe it'd be a blessing to you too. So when you share it, you can click the little button on the, on the bottom there, that little blue button. Um, you share it to your own Facebook page. You tell your friends and those that you're connected with, uh, this is worth something. This is worth listening to. Not because of New Endor, but because of God's Word. There's also a, a little link in the top of our post today. There's a lot of people that have started watching these that I don't know you yet. If you'd like to be a little more connected to St. Paul, I mean, for us to know your name and uh, or to, to know what to pray about for you, we'd love to do that. Um, there's a link there to, to hit and, uh, and connect with us a little bit more, and we'd appreciate that. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to start the Book of Acts. Luke and Acts, I always think of as, a, as Volume 1 and Volume 2, uh, that, that Dr. Luke wrote about Jesus' ministry, and then he carried right on and wrote about his work with the Apostle Paul and the early Christian church and the growing of the Christian church. And I'm excited to start looking through that with you. As we go back to work as a society, uh, the church goes back to work in God's kingdom. Heavenly Father, thank you for these 100 days. Lord, bless us that we may share not just these these Facebook posts a uh, hundred times, but Lord, grant that we may share your word in everything we do. Everywhere we go today, the people we speak to, as we have been blessed by being in Jesus' presence, Lord, grant that others may, when they know us, may feel that they also have come close to Jesus. In his name we pray. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his countenance, with his favor, and give you peace. Amen.